Hello, I'm Rob, and this is another results tutorial. Hello, and welcome back, friends of Middle Earth. Today, we are continuing our work on the Fellowship of the Ring expansion with Samwise Gamgee from Games Workshop's Lord of the Rings strategy battle game. This mini is pretty straightforward and should not take too much time. And we're going to be starting off with skin. And for that, we'll be using a 50-50 mix of beige red and basic skin tone. And we're going to be including the face, the hands, and those feet. And after that's dry, we're going to go ahead and shade those areas with some Citadel fl Fletch Shade. Uh, you still want to thin this down pretty good so as not to overwhelm the skin, as the hobbits all seem to be pretty light-skinned people. And moving on to his button down, for that we're going to be using some model color green gray. Now there's two versions of this color in the line and this is the brighter of the two. So this is a pretty small area, so you just want to do your best to uh, not to obscure areas as much as possible. Uh, you can do this by ensuring that you thin down your paint with a little bit of water or some other type of thinner medium. Moving on to the trousers, and for that we're going to be using some Model Air Base Gray. You may notice a lot of the colors that I'm uh, using here have the keyword gray in them, and this uh, will really help tie the whole miniature together. Next, on to the jacket, and for that we will be using U.S. Gray Blue. Also, a lot of these base colors are fairly dark, which means you can choose not to shade these areas later on, or you can just use a very thin shade and focus on the areas that actually need it. For his cape, we're starting off with a base color of black green. Also, you might note that because we are employing darker shades of colors in the beginning, even though they are from the model airline, some of these you can get away with only doing single coats of paint. For his pack, we're doing a 50-50 mix of Game Color Earth and Khaki. Quick tip, uh, when you're mixing colors together like this during the basing stage, it will make it a lot easier to highlight at the end instead of, say, basing with Earth and then doing a Khaki highlight as the colors will blend, blend together better and not have such a sharp contrast between the two of them. For the belts, straps, and a couple items on his pack, uh, we're going to use a nice deep brown, such as charred brown. That way, when you highlight the leather sections later, your highlights will stand out better and can be made to look worn uh, better in certain areas. When researching this character on the internet and I was looking at movie stills, depending on the lighting, uh, Sam's hair ranges from blonde to red, and so I just chose to paint it blonde. And for that, we're going to start off with a nice dirty yellow color, but something that is not really yellow and sand yellow does a really good job at this, I think.
Moving on to the weapons, which are the frying pan and the sword with some model air gun metal. I would like to think that a short sword in a hobbit's hands would really look like a long sword in a normal person's hands. Uh, but though, can you imagine a hobbit trying to fight with a long sword? And where would a proper hobbit be without lunch or dinner? For that, Sam is packing some sausages using a model color burnt red. Moving on to shading the miniature using Citadel Non Oil. Remember, we do not want or we do not need a very heavy shade as we used a lot of darker colors as our bases. So feel free to thin this down a little. Go ahead and shade everything with the exception of the face and the hands, but do put a little bit onto the feet. And after this is dry, if you feel any areas need more shading, you can always go back and add some more. After letting our miniature sit for about 20 minutes or so, I will start cleaning up any areas where I put too much shade. Starting off with the cape again using black green. Remember to leave the deeper folds and crevices in the shade colors. Moving on to the pants with base gray, uh, you really only need to pick out the knee and just a small section on the opposite leg. There's not really much pants here to speak of. Now for his button down again using gray green, you might want to consider using like a number zero or a one for this as it's a really small area and we're picking out an even smaller area of that. Uh, hitting the jacket with some dark gray blue. You'll notice here in a minute that I failed to mix this color with my highlight color and was forced to use another color for the final highlight. But in the end, I, I like how it came out. Highlighting the cape now with some model air green. Since this color is naturally thin in nature, you might want to go over it twice and you don't need to thin it down any. Just make sure you let it dry first before you go back over the same areas. As you can see, I'm pretty much just picking out the edges and the top of the folds. You could also do a little bit of dirty edging here on the bottom to add a little bit more character to the model. Uh, just you know, just make some uh, uh, streaky lines going down to the down to the bottom of the cape, and don't make it uniform.
using US blue gray to start highlighting the jacket. And as I told you a couple uh, spots before, at first I thought this would be a good highlight color, but I forgot to mix it with my base color. So it came out really bright and I had to choose another color as my final highlight, but like I said, I liked the way it came out, so I was okay with this. I would just suggest mixing the previous color with this color to make your blends a little bit nicer. So now I'm mixing in some pale green into the model air green and doing some small pickups and small lines on the very bottom of the cape to make it a little more dirty or ragged looking. To pick out the areas done in charred brown, I've chosen to highlight those in game color leather brown. Just do some small, simple scribing over the edges and around areas of that jar looking thing on the backpack. And don't you don't have to be too really too clean with this. Just like I said, just make small little lines here and there to show some wear and tear and you'll be good. Did someone say sausages? Using the original burnt red, just pick out the tops. You could add uh, just a brush tip of white to your burnt red and just do a small line across the top of them uh, to give them some sort of extreme highlight. But you gotta remember that when mixing uh, whites with reds, you tend to not get the outcome you expect. So like I said, just if you're gonna do it, make sure it's a tiny bit of white. Moving on to the frying pan and sword, and for that we're using gunmetal to pick out the top of the frying pan, the inside of the bottom, and the top side of the sword. And now we're going to pretty, pretty much repeat the same step in the previous section. And for that, we're just using silver. Uh, Model Air silver for fact. And just this time, just color, cover a smaller area than you did last time. Back to the jacket again with some U.S. blue-gray, adding more color to the top areas, making it slightly more brighter. Back to the trousers using Model Air US Gray. We're going to be picking out the top of the knee and just a couple of the folds on the pants.
To start highlighting the hair, first we need to clean it up with the original sand yellow. Uh, doing your best just to pick out some of the higher strands of the hairs. Now we're going to come back with some Model Air Yellow Lazier for the final highlight. Remember the best way to highlight hair or to color hair, period, uh, regardless of the color, is to give yourself a top-down view of the head. And you're just going to make a line and turn it and make another line, turn it and make a line. And as you're highlighting, you're just going to use progressively less and less paint, working your way from the crown to the bottom of the head. Cleaning up the face and concentrating on the bridge of the nose, the tops of the cheeks, his chin, and the brow. If you do not know what your brow is, it is the part where your forehead meets your eyebrows. Now cleaning up the pack with some earth and khaki, using just a little bit more khaki than earth. So I decided to do another final highlight on the leather sections, just uh, trying to improve the color here, making it stand out, stand out a little bit better. For the hi final highlight and a finished mini, I used some pale gray or pale blue gray, excuse me, to pick out the cuffs, edges, and the elbow areas. And if you're like me and just slap your brush wherever you want on your model, you can just use your fingers to wipe it away quickly. And here we are, Samwise Gamgee from Lord of the Rings Strategy Battle Game by Games Workshop. We only have, I believe, maybe two to three more minis in the Fellowship of the Ring. And I'm looking forward to wrapping up this little section. Remember, if you like this video and would like to see more, click like, subscribe, and share to help my channel grow. Uh, alternatively, down in the comments, you will find affiliate links for all of the paints that I used. You can click on these links to buy these paints. It does not cost you extra. I just get a small kickback from Amazon. 
Also, alternatively, you could head over to Patreon.com where you can find me and sign up to be a Patreon and to help support my channel further. And once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.